The views and opinions expressed on the following program are not necessarily those of the staff and management of Salem Media of Hawaii. Welcome to Generations Radio, where the focus is on our seniors and their families. We are here each Saturday afternoon from 5 until 6 p.m., bringing you resourceful information with our radio team of professionals in the field of aging. Stay with us for the next one hour as we explore different ways to make life more exciting and meaningful for our extraordinary seniors. Right here on AM 690, The Answer. And now... Here is our host and the publisher of Generations Magazine, Percy Ihara. Good afternoon and welcome to Generations Radio. I am Percy Ihara, your host, every Saturday, as you guys know, from 5 to 6 and Sundays from 3 to 4 p.m. Every weekend for this whole year and continuing on, we will always provide you trusted information, uh, presenters and uh, guests that are really helping our seniors to live a better quality of life and you know, thank you all of you that are tuning in on our website, by the way. As you guys know, or maybe you don't know, we archive all our radio shows on our website, generations808.com. And you can listen to all the past issues, past um, shows. So check us out. Um, it's probably one of the growing, fastest growing areas on our website people are tuning into. So you can replay it. You can go online. And um, it's, it's just a, been a wonderful time for us at Generations Magazine. Thank you to our new uh, engineer, Leah, for taking us on. And we had to say goodbye, finally, to Miss Kim, our engineer that moved to Germany, of all places. And, yeah, what a great lady. And in our October issue, we have a picture of Miss Kim, who's um, our former engineer on the way to Germany. But, uh, Kim, I hopefully you can read online. I'll text you. i got to text her memory to, to say goodbye to her. She's on her way to Germany with her husband, who's in the military. So, anyway, uh, we're here every Saturday and Sunday. And one of our experts in a magazine, Miss Martha Klopin, who actually is another radio personality herself. <laughs> uh, welcome to the show, Martha. Thank you so much. Thank you, Percy. I mean, uh, damn, man, you, I'm glad I got you because I know this is Medicare enrollment period. That's right. And you must be working 24-7. <laughs> Just about. Yeah. So anyway, guys, uh, if you're turning 65, like the class of 69. Yes. Uh, you got to start doing your homework. You got to start going online. You better start picking up materials. You better start going to workshops. You better start talking to professionals that understand all the Medicare plans, not just one or two. So we invited Martha Klopin back. Now, Martha, you have a show just specifically about Medicare, don't you? Yes, I do. It's called A Medicare Moment with Martha. And that is when now? Uh, it actually plays on uh, Saturday and Sunday at 2 p.m., on sister station, KHNR 690 AM, oh, so. and KGU, I think, I can't remember. KGU? Okay. <laughs> anyway, just, uh, you know, every Saturday and Sunday um, yes, at 2 at p.m.? 2 p.m., yes. Oh, good. So I wish I had the same times like you. Uh-huh. <laughs> I got to remember 5 and 6 and 3 and 4 on Sundays. <laughs> at anyway, least you can remember the call station. <laughs> uh, Martha, I also have to thank you for bringing to us three beautiful ladies that are on our October issue, which we'll be starting to distribute this week, by the way. The October-November issue of Generations Magazine is out there being distributed as we speak. And uh, three wonderful ladies that grace our cover, and I have to really thank them. We are going to try to get them on the show next week, by the way. Yes, um, great. But uh, tell that story. When we talked about last year, um, summertime, I believe, you were talking to me about, I want to create the first Medicare pageant. <laughs> That's right, Percy, and you listened uh, to me, and thank you for that. But I felt that there was a real need to celebrate the fact that when a person reaches Medicare age, you can also get Medicare due to disability, but for those who qualify due to age, that age would be 65. And I do, you know, hundreds of, of workshops and, and classes on Medicare every year, and I noticed that people look very sad that they were turning 65. <laughs> you know, that's true. I, I thought the number of uh, 69 classes, 69 class, classes and myself, and, you know, it's, it's a time to celebrate. Not absolutely, to be sad, absolutely. You know? And also, Medicare is such a valuable benefit. You actually get, in some cases, uh, additional benefits for uh, less out-of-pocket costs. So I thought it was important to celebrate people who are Medicare age. And I decided to come up with this Medicare pageant. And uh, I'm so excited that it's been so successful. Yeah, when you told me about that, I go, huh? 
<laughs> no, really. I mean, like, okay, Martha, go ahead, do your little thing, and look at it now. I, know. I mean, I know Medicare in, uh, in, in D.C. has contacted you? Uh, yes. Actually, uh, Percy, I have received uh, con- calls from health plans throughout the, the country who are very interested in this Miss Medicare pageant. And fortunately, because you are my mentor, I did register and trademark the name. And so I've actually had folks reaching out to me, and they would like to do this pageant in other states beyond just Hawaii. Wow, fantastic. So on the cover, when you pick up a copy, um, all the YMCAs, all the libraries statewide, Big City Diner, Vacations Hawaii, uh, selected longs, times, and safeways in your community there. Uh, best place to go online at generations808.com. To pick up, to, you can download a PDF of the whole magazine onto your computer, or you can read it right there on our website there. Um, but three ladies, and uh, I, they're going to come on next week probably or the following week to talk about their lives. But but to celebrate these ladies in this way, you know, they might have to have a Mr. Medicare pageant pretty soon. You know, <laughs> you know I oh. actually, Percy, I had a gentleman ask me about that. He said, hey, what about us men? Don't we get to be, you know, Mr. Medicare? So uh, I'm thinking about it. But, you know, what a wonderful idea last year. Last year was a first pageant, mm-hmm. and we have on our cover this year – Last year's pageant winners. That's correct. And then you told me you're going to have another one. And not that it wasn't surprising, but I guess, yeah, let's, let's keep this going and let's celebrate this. And I know you have, we put a little uh, uh, ad in there about the, uh, the pageant uh, this coming up in December. Uh, coming up actually uh, October, 24th. October 24th. So it's actually okay. this month. <laughs> and uh, <clears throat> yes, it's who will be crowned. Miss Medicare 2016, and the support has been tremendous. Uh, We even have uh, uh, Ohana Health Plan. uh, That's through WellCare. Ohana Health Plan is a sponsor this year. Oh, good for you. Mm -hmm. And so this is going to be the Blaisdell. That's correct. On Saturday, October 24th. Ooh, I don't know if I can make it. I'm going to be on the North Shore that weekend. Um, But, uh, I mean, we're going to supply, supply you with magazines, and, you know, if I can help out in any way. Let me know. But, yeah, this is great. Um, give us a little bit of snippet of the three ladies. Not a lot because they're going to come on, but a little bit about each individual lady. Uh, each each Medicare winner was exceptional. Uh, I have to start with the oldest. Uh, she won Miss Original Medicare, Lori Bachran. She's 86 and a half years old, 86 and a half, and she is just amazing. She has so much energy and and vitality she's still working and mentoring people uh she's just a very very incredible lady so that's Lori bachran uh we have another winner uh and i'll go by age her, her name is favorall shock and she's 72 years old and still very active in her community she serves on boards she teaches parenting classes that was the amazing thing percy about all three women they're all still working <laughs> and then our third winner who tells me she's 68 and a Half, but I always check her driver's license because, <laughs> you know, she has the, the I, I have to call them, what do you call them? Michelle Obama arms. <laughs> she really? has very, very, uh, very, she's very toned. strong and she has tone and muscle at 68 and a half. Her name is Terry Rainey and she hails from the island of Maui. And she also is still working as an exercise coach and health and nutrition uh, expert. Yeah, I'll tell you, she's in great shape, and she's got, i tell you, I mean, she's got more energy than me, and <laughs> she's a Facebook wonder, let me tell you. She she probably Facebooks me or texts me at least once a day. Oh, my goodness. You know, I, I love I love her, and she's just got, you know, when I when I see ladies like this, and, mm-hmm. and men, you know, um, it's amazing to see the energy they have. Yes. People say, I have energy, mm-hmm. so I have a more mortgage business and a magazine, but I'll tell you, these guys run circles around me. <laughs> exactly. I mean, it, it's just, it really is amazing. And, and that's one of the things I love what I do because I get to learn from different people what makes them tick, what makes them tick faster than me, <laughs> uh, what makes them have more exercise, more energy than me. Right. And I, they're like role models to me. Yes, you know? I agree. It, it's just amazing what they're doing. And, you know, thank you so much. And I, um, October 24th, which is a couple, a couple of Saturdays from now, at the Blaisdell yep, Peacocky, Peacocky Room. room. Mm-hmm. And I think, how many do you have in, um, applying uh, or who's running we this year? We have seven uh, oh. ladies running this year. Really? Mm-hmm. Oh, good for you. Yes, yeah, seven. Wow. Mm-hmm. And so you're lucky. You're still young enough where you don't have to run, but you <laughs> might have to run someday. Get your, get your... I got a little bit of a while to go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So anyway, guys, yeah, the October issue's out. Um, one, of the, one of the things that, you know, when we started Generations Magazine was to 
create a resource guide. And so every issue we have a resource guide. And this year, this month for uh, October, November, we have the Kauai and Maui Senior Clubs. I don't know if you know, there's a ton of Maui and Kauai Senior Clubs. So no, in the middle of the magazine, know. every issue, we have our um, resource guide. And we have a list of, let me go get the page here. It is beautiful. on page um, so 30. Beautiful. On Kauai, there's got to be over 10 to 10 clubs. Amazing. Look at the list on Maui County. Well, there's Molokai and Lanai. Amazing. But Maui County alone probably has over 40 clubs. Amazing. <laughs> Those guys are active. <laughs> I mean, I mean, Kahului alone is five. Hana, Haile Maile, Kihei, Kula, Lahaina, Makawa, Pukalani, Waikapu, Wailuku has 12. Molokai has two, and I has one. So, guys, check it out. Page 30 of the October, November issue of, of Generations Magazine. So if you have relatives or friends on the neighbor islands, get them involved. Get them out there because they're actually very active. They meet normally once a week, mm-hmm. and they have all kind of activities besides going to check out new restaurants, going <laughs> excursions, uh, learning about their families. But it's really great to see. Um also, one of my favorite topics is healthy eating now. I mean, mm-hmm. I try to stay healthy. <laughs> and we have um, uh, Dr. Blake, Stephen Blake, who spoke mm-hmm. at our Aging in Place a couple months ago. Uh, he wrote a book, and he's actually a nutritionist, and he wrote a book about his um, about how to eat healthy, I'm trying to find that page now. And he is actually on page, um, I'm trying to find it right now. He is actually on page uh, 33, Healthy Brain Food. And they find, you know, I was talking to somebody this morning that um, Alzheimer's is out of the top 10 diseases, Mm -hmm. the only one going to grow. Wow. Stroke, cancer, Mm -hmm. heart attack, AIDS are all going down. Wow. uh, Alzheimer's is the only one going up. And really, nothing officially can stop it or slow it down. The only thing they tell you right now Mm -hmm. is that you need to eat eat healthy. So Dr. Stephen Blake wrote a book. It talks about how to eat healthy, what to do, um, and really just that's the best thing you can do so to protect your brain by eating healthy. Um, One of the other articles, when you get a chance to read it, Martha, Mm -hmm. is uh, one of my favorite articles who I met uh, a couple months back was uh, Annette Pang. She owns a couple care homes. Oh, okay. She She calls herself a relationship life coach. And she does workshops. She does counseling for families. And the title of her her article is mm-hmm. From a Fighting to a Forgiving Family. Wow. Excellent. And uh, I talk to people almost every day mm-hmm. that are fighting with their family. Mm-hmm. Um, it's pretty scary out yes. there. So anyway, so Martha, give us the background for so many people who have not heard your radio show, but mm-hmm. hopefully they will soon. <laughs> give us a little background because I did not know that you spent 10 years on Wall Street. Yes, I did. On the floor, like in the movies? Uh, Yes, I spent some of my time. I didn't spend the entire 10 years on the floor. Uh, But I did spend time working uh, with the traders on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange. And that is before technology had taken such a hold. So a lot of... You were writing stuff on pieces of paper? Uh, Exactly. Just like in the movie... Uh, with Gordon Gecko, Exactly. And you want to talk about fighting. <laughs> really? <laughs> there would be a lot of fighting because if someone makes a mistake on a quarter or a half of a point on a, you know, 10 million share transaction, <laughs> it really could add up. So, really? so yeah, so my job was actually to be the intermediary and sort of, you know, resolve uh, any discrepancies and, and reconcile the trading that was done. Uh, I did that for Morgan Stanley Dean Witter for, uh, for I was there for 10 years before I moved to Hawaii. But it was very exciting, uh, but it was also very stressful. As a matter of fact, Percy, I don't know if you know this or your listeners know this, but when I worked <clears throat> down at the Wall Street, uh, stock, uh, down at the New York Stock Exchange, and it continues today, there would always be three or four ambulances parked outside because one thing they knew is every day somebody would collapse. I mean, it was that kind of stress. Absolutely. Really? It was that kind of stress. Not so much the stockbrokers, the traders. There is a difference. Traders are, traders are actually trading for the the big investment houses. Right. So they, they could lose, you know, a million dollars in a minute or, or more, uh, could be in the billions now, but the stockbrokers, you know, many of them have a client base and, you know, they're accustomed to working with these folks, but the trader is making those lightning fast decisions that can impact 
how much the investment firm makes or loses that day. So very stressful. But so these were in the eighties, nineties. I was in the eighties. Mm-hmm. But you must have went in one of few female. Uh, you know, it's funny you should say that. I, I don't tell a lot of folks, but uh, when I started at the firm, uh, and then I became actually I became an assistant vice president. I, w- I was one of only three <laughs> in the entire firm uh, that had that uh, officer's uh, position. Mm-hmm. And you were one of the few people on the floor that were female at the time. Uh, right. There were very, you know, as a matter of fact, there were very few. Yeah, there were no women on the floor. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm thinking about it. <laughs> like, yeah, there were no other women on the floor. <laughs> That's right. Wow. No, you're right. That's right. At the so time. So we were talking earlier before the show came on, and I, and I, I know you've been in Hawaii many years. But 30 years. What brought you to Hawaii? Well, uh, my husband <laughs> brought me to Hawaii. Uh, he, uh, he, this was his dream to uh, have uh, 50 weeks of vacation in Hawaii and two weeks, weeks <laughs> two weeks back on the East Coast to see family and friends uh, as needed. <laughs> so um, I was very young. We met in college. And I said, okay, honey. That was the time when I used to say, okay, honey, whatever you say. <laughs> so that's how I ended up here. Uh, but it turns out that when he was uh, 14, his brother was uh, in the, I think his brother was, uh, he was in Vietnam. And I think this was kind of the yeah. point where they right. would come before they went back. Right. So the brother ended up living out here for about seven years and wow. raising a family here for a while. So I think that was really uh, what gave my husband the desire to want to make Hawaii, his home someday. All the way from the East Coast. Wow. That's All the amazing. way that's from New York that City. That is amazing. Because you're both from New York, right? Uh, I was born in New Jersey. Oh, okay. <laughs> He's from New York. But uh, we lived and worked in, in New York for 10 years before moving here. So I used to live in Manhattan. And I really? I took my kids back. I'm like, Mom, you used to live in New York. Why did you leave? Like, talk to your dad. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, but I'm happy that we, uh, we, we came and we raised our children out here. And we still can go back and visit anytime we like. We still have family there. So uh, it's okay. But I was living in Manhattan. I actually worked in the World Trade Center really? on the 106th floor. <clears throat> wow. Mm-hmm, when it was there. Mm-hmm. Yes, I wow. did. So I had many friends who uh, worked in the building. And when we had 9-11, I contacted, you know, my friends to make sure, you know, everybody was okay. And uh, uh, all from that firm got out except six. And one of the folks I knew, he was the head of security. And I got to share the story, Percy. Uh, he was out. And he even called his wife and he said, I'm out. However, not everybody is out of the building. And he said, my job as head of security for Dean Witter Reynolds is to go in and make sure everybody's safe. So he went back in and he wouldn't leave without, you know, making sure everybody, I'm getting chicken skin, was out. And he did perish, you know, oh, in, that, in that, yeah. in that, in the 9-11. But uh, he was the only person that I knew. Uh, the other folks I knew all did get out. Wow. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. So, so you came to Hawaii, and mm-hmm. how did you get involved with Medicare? <laughs> I mean, probably a little bit less stress, except for like this enrollment period, but probably less stress than being on a trading floor than the New York Stock Exchange, though. Right. Well, mm-hmm. actually, uh, when I uh, came in the 80s, I first got a job at Bishop Trust Company. So oh. I was an assistant vice president and investment uh, trust officer. But uh, down, the, down the road, Bishop was sold. And uh, it was an employee-owned company, so that was a blessing because <laughs> uh, I benefited from the sale of Bishop Trust to a Hawaiian Trust Company. But uh, I was working as a as a as an agent. I, I was a general agent, and a lot of folks uh, that you know I would talk to started talking about. Uh, aging and planning for aging. And I started to learn that there's quite a few expenses that come when you age. And if you do not have the right insurance uh, plans, uh, you know, it can be very devastating. Right. And uh, so when folks are employed and they have employer coverage, that's good. But once they retire and they no longer have in- uh, employer coverage or coverage through a spouse, and they are Medicare age, it's time to start looking at your Medicare eligibility and enrollment. So I, I just kind of happened because in working with people, um, that became a very uh, key issue. How do I take care of medical expenses in my future? Yeah, it is a big issue. And you, that's, that's the reason why I got into the reverse mortgage business. Mm-hmm. I could see that aging, we're going to live a lot longer. I could see that you know we're going to need money, more money down the road. And nobody was paying attention to that. That's right. Nobody mm-hmm. was. And this was like 11 years ago. I was only 44 at the time. Mm-hmm. I knew nothing about retirement planning. Not that <laughs> I do now, but <clears throat> I knew nothing about Medicare, Medicaid, Social Security, mm-hmm. nor did I need to. I didn't know anything about how these health issues, what a, lo- what a CNA was. Mm-hmm. Um, and so when I, when I 
after a while, I realized I needed to learn more. Mm-hmm. And that's really how I got involved with the magazine and how we, we created a resource magazine here. But it's really important for people out there to understand that this is going to be a part of life. It's not yes. going to go away. Nope. <laughs> and, you know, whether you like Obamacare or not, mm-hmm. it's here. It's here to stay. Yes. Um, but is it going to get better, Martha? <clears throat> well, it may get more expensive. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if that's better, but I think uh, the important thing is people do need to have insurance coverage. All people need to have insurance coverage because you never know. Uh, anything can happen at any time. Uh, it may not even be anything that you cause, but things happen and you need to be able to get uh, the proper care. So insurance does protect against that risk. But isn't that the reason why they wanted to do Obamacare was to have everybody covered because not everybody was covered. Right. Uh, Not everybody was covered, Percy. And one of the sad things that was happening is people without coverage would go to the emergency room because that's the only way they could see a doctor. So something happens and they go to the emergency room and they get seen. Uh, So for the rest of us who have uh, health insurance coverage, we couldn't get into the emergency room. So uh, it was uh, really part of it was the fact that our emergency rooms are overcrowded with people who just don't have a, a doctor because they had no coverage. Right. So it's, I think that's a good thing. I think in the long run, hopefully, you know, we see, let's say, five years from now, 10 years from now, that it was revolutionary and it was something that is going to help everybody in the long run, not maybe individually. Right. But when you say the, the coverage, so, I mean, Medicare, you know, when we're going to get into the basis of A, B, C, D, and E, um, <laughs> But if you don't have insurance right now, I tell everybody, if you retire or quit work before 65, mm-hmm. you got to pay your own insurance. That's correct. That's correct. And because employer, a lot of employers today will not pay insurance once you leave them. That's true. And you have your COBRA, but the COBRA is actually at the rate that you would have paid if you didn't have the employer subsidizing you in Hawaii. So once you, you qualify for COBRA uh, because you left your work and you're not quite 65, it's very expensive. But it's only for, what, six months a year? Cobra? Uh, Cobra is typically for 18 months. 18 months. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. So after that, if you're still unemployed, mm-hmm. you're going to pay out of pocket. I know several people that I, that seniors that I work with mm-hmm. that were not 65 yet just didn't cover, have coverage. Wow. That's a risk. That's scary. <laughs> That's very scary. <laughs> very, very scary. Yeah. So it's really important for them that people understand the Medicare, um, uh, uh, the plans that are out there today. So enrollment period started... Well, the actual enrollment period starts October 15th and runs till December 7th, and you can enroll in a 2016 plan if you're eligible. But the period where you can start to hear and learn what the 2016 choices are, it started October 1st. So there's a, a preview period from October 1st to October 14th for 2016 plans, and actual enrollment starts October 15th. October 15th, so that's next week, yes. Friday. Mm-hmm. So why do they have that lag? Well, uh, it, it's my understanding that uh, Center for Medicare and Medicaid would like people to be able to preview the next year's plan without any pressure that someone is trying to sell oh, them see. something. So you get that 14 days. Uh, 14 that days can, to mm-hmm. think about it, go to a workshop, and then make a decision. So you can apply from the 15, which is next Friday, guys, mm-hmm. till December 7th. 7th. And what day is that? December 7th. This is finest gang. <laughs> Just to pre prep you guys, December 7th. Actually, it's Monday. Oh, it's a Monday. <clears throat> okay. <laughs> so the application has to be in by, by the fri- Monday afternoon. Mm-hmm. Yep. Wow. Or postmarked. Or postmarked. If so, you I mean, fill you it out, application do it through the mail. Fill out, mm-hmm. Okay. But you just can't get it like on a, a sixth Sunday and fill it out and send it by Sunday, can you? Is it that easy to fill out? Well, for some people, because you can fill it out online or you can oh. also call 1 800 Medicare. <clears throat> They're open 24 hours, seven days a week, and they can oh, really? also help you with your enrollment. But do you have to provide in like driver's license or documents at all? Uh, well, it just, depends. Just, if you face to face, yes, we do need certain information. But when you 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 use Medicare, when they verify you by asking you certain personal information, that's how they verify you are who you say you are. <laughs> just, what, just address and social, social security number? Uh, actually, um, they're doing a little bit more than that now. Sometimes a lot of government <clears throat> agencies are asking you to verify if you took out a, a car loan or, or mortgage and somehow they're tapping into a database that has even more uh, significant information about you that would verify your identity. Why would they do that? To verify your identity. <laughs> well, I mean, <clears throat> 
I, I, I'm in a mortgage lending business, and mm-hmm. I don't know why that's important. Mm-hmm. But I mean, the only way they can pull that is by pulling a credit report. I, I do think they have access to that database because I was Not actually on the phone with someone, and they were asking you know her all these questions, and she's like, I don't remember who I took a loan out with in 2007, but apparently uh, some government agencies are, really? are doing that mm-hmm. hmm, to verify identity. Okay. So I was talking to a group this morning. And they're all over 65, so they already have Medicare. They've been through that first year of deciding on a plan. Mm-hmm. So they have a plan now for like the last five years. Somebody that has a plan, a Medicare plan already, is comfortable with it. Or what are some basic things they need to do for 2016? Well, if they're happy with the plan they have, they don't have to do anything and they'll remain in that plan. However, plans change every year. So it's really important that they look for information from their health plan. And they have a nice little summary. It's called annual notice of changes. We call it a knock in the business, (laughs) annual notice of changes. And it's a nice summary because it'll say this is what the 2015 benefits, you know, were and this Uh. is what's changed. So it doesn't have everything. It just shows you. The changes. So the annual so notice of current, change. So your current mm-hmm. provider will send you a letter in the mail, mm-hmm. hopefully by before December 7th. Uh, yes, it's supposed to be out <laughs> by uh, September 30th. Oh, really? Okay, mm-hmm. good. So if you're current, you currently have Medicare and you, you're comfortable with the plan, you're going to get a letter by September 30th saying any changes. So if you review those changes, so what kind of changes do you think might happen? Like higher copay or, or different different medication coverages or what would be some stuff? Exactly. You need to pay close attention to any change in uh, co-payment, say for your personal care physician. Uh, A couple of plans, I noticed they went up a little bit, you know, maybe from $10 to $15, or it might be a very pleasant change. Maybe it went from $15 to zero. So does it ever do that? Yeah, it can do that as well. And yes, you should take a look at the drug formulary for 2016 to make sure all the medications that you're taking are still covered. If you should find that it's not, you do have an opportunity uh, to still have your medication covered while you and your doctor work out maybe an alternative uh, so, prescription. So um, they list the drugs, the drugs that they, they changed, the, the copay? No, that you have to, to, to be proactive and you have to look at what uh, medications you're taking and access the 2016 formulary. They don't give you a – because oh, so, they don't know what drugs so you're taking. So they do need right? to check something. Oh, you do need to check that. If you're taking that. medications, you're right. guys, you need to check <laughs> right. that. You're um, right. But you also need to check with your doctor whether they're going to continue taking Medicare. That's an excellent uh, point. You need to also make sure that your doctor still takes the plan. I've been making calls for folks, and, uh, and, and what's interesting, you need to give the full name of your plan because some doctors might be taking a particular insurance company's PPO plan but not their HMO plan. So it's very important. Don't just call and say, oh, do you take, you know, XYZ health plan? Because if you don't say PPO or HMO, you might get an incorrect answer. Or, or ANOC, annual <laughs> notice of change. Annual notice of change. Okay, Martha. We're here with Martha Klopin, our Medicare expert here. Thank you so much, Martha. We're going to take a short break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the new October, uh, this November issue of Generations Magazine. But also for you 65-year-olds, what do you got to start thinking about? And Martha's going to be doing her radio show, but also you're going to be at different locations around town. Mm-hmm. Right? Okay, we'll be right back after this short message. We will be right back with Percy Ihara from Generations Radio. If you have any questions or want to be part of our discussion, give us a call at 296-5467. That's 296-5467. This is Generations Radio on AM690, The Answer.
Moon Physical Therapy is here to help you back to recovery. Moon Physical Therapy is located on Ward Avenue across from Sports Authority. Physician prescribed for motor vehicle accidents, workman's comp, or that body pain that comes from rushing to play without warming up. Also event cardiopulmonary rehabilitation with our one-on-one patient care. Moon's Aqua Therapy heated endless pool allows for low impact exercise with less pain on land. We will give you the right exercises to get you back to health. Ask your doctor to prescribe Moon Physical Therapy. Moon Physical Therapy. We achieve results. Aloha. This is Martha Clopin. And Al Harrington. Choosing the right Medicare plan not only saves you money, it also helps you avoid headaches and heartaches down the road. We want to remind everyone to listen to a Medicare moment with Martha. Sundays from 9.30 a.m. to 10 a.m. as we help answer important questions on Medicare so you can stay healthy, wealthy, and wise all year long. Call me at 543-2073. 543-2073. I was an addict from the age of 13. I finally decided it was time for a change. I walked into the Salvation Army Adult Rehabilitation Center, and that got me ready for the real world. Now, I choose to be guided by Jesus Christ, and today, I'm building a powerful and promising future, free from drugs and alcohol. Please shop at the Salvation Army Family Stores. With our discounted sales, your support through your purchase helps men live a clean, sober, and productive life. Got Vegas on your mind? Get Vacations Hawaii on the line. Vacations Hawaii offers weekly four- and five-night Honolulu to Vegas packages, which include three meals daily from six ninety nine. dollars Stay at Hawaii's favorite casinos, California, Fremont, Main Street Station, and Orleans Hotel. Vacations Hawaii will get you there in comfort on deluxe wide-body 767 planes with complimentary in-flight hot meal service. Vacations Hawaii's frequent flyer program gives you future travel discounts and credits. So if you're ready to win big, call Vacations Hawaii at 591-4777 or visit pointvacationshawaii.com. High's Steakhouse Waikiki, a special place to celebrate your next special occasion. Dine on High's succulent Alaskan king crab, fresh oysters Rockefeller, and signature Kiave seared roast rack of lamb, amongst other favorites. Marvel at tableside creations like the classic Caesar salad and signature desserts. For reservations, call 922-5555. Online at highswaikiki.com. Celebrate your next special occasion at High's Steakhouse Waikiki. Proper dress required. Today, more than ever, we local people are living longer than any other state in the union with more seniors, baby boomers, and caregivers. Generations Radio promotes the importance to be proactive as we all age. The radio team will focus on issues facing our seniors and their families, finding resources to navigate healthy aging along with financial, legal, and caregiving information. So join Percy E. Hauer from 5 until 6 each Saturday, right here on AM 690, The Answer. Focusing on the issues facing our seniors and their families today. Here's our Generations Radio host, Percy Ihara. Welcome back to Generations Radio. I'm Percy Ihara here with Martha Klopin, our Medicare expert um, today, talking about Medicare. But I also wanted to start off this half of the radio show that lets you know that our October, November issue is out at all the racks downtown. Um, on Bishop Street, Alakea Street, by the old post office on uh, Richards. Um, we're by the CPB building on Alakea and down to earth on King Street. Or as you guys know, you can visit us online at generations808.com. But also the best place to get them is the YMCA, all the state libraries, over 48 of them, Big City Diner, and selected Times, Longs, and Safeways. Besides all your doctor offices in the state, over 1,400 doctor offices we mail out directly to their offices. But I also wanted to mention we did have a start a new uh, Generations Magazine intern from the University of Hawaii. Her name is Brittany Nakamoto. So I want to thank Brittany. There's a picture of her on page four with Sherry Goya, who handles all our sales and distribution of Generations Magazine. But she did a, does a wonderful job. She also helps us edit our, our articles. But uh, So thank you very much, Brittany. And she'll be here with us for about six more months to help us as an intern with the magazine. And thanks to the university of Hawaii. Um, I did want to mention a few other articles that I, I've been looking through this magazine, uh, <clears throat> a time to ask and listen by Kirk Matthews and Linda Coble. They're great. They're one of the cutest couples. I'll tell you. And um, they write for us every issue. 
Um, if you like Ikebana and Japanese floral art, uh, they've been celebrating this for 35 years. It'll be actually uh, next weekend, the 15th to the 18th. They're going to have an Ikebana fashion um, ex- exhibition at the Honolulu Museum of Art School on Victoria Street. Admission is free, but they're going to have a floral design that you will not believe. It's just fantastic. Uh, thanks to a Hawaii Prince Golf Course. As you guys know, Mondays and Tuesdays, there's a senior special, 39 bucks for tea times. Um, and on page uh, 27, we have the women of the Nakoa Football Club. Yes, women. When I first went to the Nakoa Club, uh, you know, they meet during the football season on Mondays at the Willows. Let me tell you, Willows, 20 bucks for lunch, the full buffet, you can't beat it. Um, but I was shocked when I first went to the first Nakoa Football Lunch and that how many women were there. And these women ask good questions. I mean, they're talking about recruits and plays. I'm like, wow, these women are fantastic. So if you get a chance during football season, which is right now, and Mondays at the Willows, um, for 20 bucks you get to get a nice buffet lunch, all you can eat there. But also the coaches come down and talk about the idiosyncrasies of the line, about recruits, about the game coming up. And it was a wonderful time. I, en- I thoroughly enjoy it. If you're a football fan, you want to go to it. Congratulations to the Plaza Waikiki that just opened up uh, there behind um, uh, the old Hard Rock Cafe across the convention center. And what a beautiful place. I'll be touring that next week with Kobe, the new administrator. Um, but uh, and Martha, of course, has her article. Martha, both about Medicare. And don't forget to look at our cover, <laughs> talking about the three ladies of last year's Medicare pageant, Faye Rose Shock. Um, Lauren Bachran and Terry Rainey from Maui. I cannot forget my buddy Wendell on page 36. Wendell was a a friend of mine, and I introduced her to Diane Kadena, our personal trainer that works out with seniors. And after a year, he got off all his medication. Wow. He had diabetes. Awesome. And what a a real-life story. And this guy is in shape. He's happy. (laughs) I mean, his quality of life has just gone through the roof. I mean, knowing him three years ago, two years ago, and a year ago to, to today, what an amazing change. And it, just by exercising. Beautiful. Two or three times a week with Diane. And, you know, it, it's just a great story. And it, it's, it's just a real life what people can do if you put your mind to it. And he's done a great job. So Medicare enrollment. Wow. I mean, <laughs> I'm glad I got you here. And I know you got to work after this. But you wrote an article in our October November issue on page 41, guys, mm-hmm. about the Medicare Rewards Program. Right. So what exactly is that, Martha? Well, many Medicare Advantage programs, they want to keep you healthy because that actually saves them money uh, uh, in the short term as well as the long term. So if you go to their website and you sign up and you start to track how many steps you walk or other activities that you do, they start to, to award you points. And with those points, you can get Things like a ped- a pedometer or uh, maybe a gift certificate or movie passes. So depending oh, really? upon the Medicare Advantage program, um, there's different rewards and incentives for just taking good care of yourself. So I noticed in your, in your article you talked about you, you have to do certain screenings on a regular basis. Right. Uh, sometimes you will get a reward for a particular uh, screening. There are certain preventive screenings that come uh, with your uh, Medicare Advantage plan and with Medicare, but just a flu shot. So just getting your annual flu shot, they may give you some type of uh, points towards uh, uh, to pick up some of those rewards. And also every year when you have Medicare, you're entitled to a wellness check. So mm-hmm. it's very, very important. And a lot of health plans want you to get your wellness check, want you to get your flu shot. Because again, these are things that in the long term give you uh, better outcomes in your health and saves them money. Yeah, you know, I'm doing my annual physical next week, Tuesday. In fact, my doctor called me. Did you take your blood test? Did you do your x-ray chest? I said, yes, I did. So I meet next Tuesday. But, you know, that's one thing I was telling some people. I was speaking to a bunch of seniors this morning. Mm -hmm. And I was telling them, Medicare, they really want to get you healthy. Oh, they absolutely want you to be healthy, yes. And and I'm trying to tell these seniors, you should be eating right, exercising, and drinking good water. We'll talk about that later on. Mm -hmm. But good water. But you have to hydrate because, I mean, physiology, what's the word? Physically or physiologically, as you get older, you don't like to drink water. The body true. rejects water, <laughs> yes. right? But they still have to hydrate. That's right. That's very, very important hydration. Absolutely. But it's, I, I like to see that. So I think what people need to realize, Medicare doesn't want you in a hospital. 
Mm-hmm. They want you to be healthy. And all these screenings, like cholesterol level screenings, cardiovascular disease screenings, and diabetes screenings are very important. Oh, you have your body mass index. They want to check that as well? Yes, your body mass index. Yes. <laughs> oh, great. I only report my daughter's BMI. It's 19. <laughs> I don't report my own. <laughs> well, then you got to be the role model, Martha. Absolutely. So, my, mother, my mother, she'll be 89 uh, in December, and she also has a BMI of 19 or 20. So she and my daughter are aligned. It's okay. just... I'm the outlier. <laughs> well, we got to get you going there, Martha. I got to that, meet Diane. That's going to be Diana. our goal for 2016. I accept. Okay. You heard that, ladies and gentlemen. I accept. Martha Clopin, the Medicare expert, who has a show on Saturdays and Sundays at 2 to 3 o'clock on 2 AM to 690. 2 to 2.30. 2 to 2.30 on AM 690, has committed to 2016. Yes. To lowering the BMI. Yes. And, and exercise on a regular basis. Yes. Okay, I'm going to talk to your husband when I see him now. Okay, okay? and I'm going right. to call Diana. <laughs> well, <laughs> Diane. It, Diana, she's just, she's, every day is a different, I work out with her after this. Oh, by you the do? Way. Okay. Yeah, I work out with her twice a week. And it's really important um, to stay active. Yes. She's very positive. Mm-hmm. She'll kick you in the butt. In wow, a nice way. really? Oh, yeah, yes. Yeah. <laughs> she, she will not give, it, give you, she does not allow excuses. Mm-hmm. And she's just there and she's done a wonderful job and she's very positive. You know what the best part about it? What? Every time you work out with her, uh-huh. she gives you a cup of a smoothie. Oh. She makes smoothies every morning, brings oh. in a thermos to everybody that works out with her and gives it, pours in a small cup. Seriously. She Beautiful. brings a cooler to work. <laughs> and every time, oh, you want, so she goes, try this one. This one has all different kind of flavors inside. Beautiful. And so she makes that. So that's to me, is one of the greatest benefits of working out with her. Now that's a reward. <laughs> then, she'll treat, then she'll teach you how to make that smoothie mm-hmm. with kale, with spinach, with broccoli, with oranges and strawberries and blueberries. It's great. <clears throat> you wouldn't think kale and spinach would make a tasty smoothie, but... You'd be surprised. Yeah. You know, after I took Dr. Sh- Dr. Shintani's 10-day oh, work class... Oh, I love him. Um, my wife started using kale and spinach mm-hmm. and all these, all these kind of vegetables inside... And a couple mornings a week, she'll, she'll ask me, did you taste the kale? I could never taste <laughs> nope. it. No. Never taste it. So it's just working with what you have. Right. Understanding that, you know, not to make it really sweet because you don't want to have a lot of fruit in there. Right. Because when you have it too sweet, when you blend the fruit up, by the way, mm-hmm. it, it creates a more of a metabolism where it turns into a sweetness and sugar. Oh, that's good to know. And mm-hmm. you don't want too much sugar. No, right? of course not. By having too much fruit in your smoothie creates too much sugar in your diet. So Excellent. you got to limit that. That's good that. to know. That's good so, to know. Um, and by the way, ladies and gentlemen, starting in our December issue of Generations Magazine, Dr. Shintani will be writing a regular column. Excellent. Um, Fabulous. I met with him yesterday. He loves the magazine. He's seen us grow. And he's like me. Mm-hmm. we got to get everybody healthy. Absolutely. You know, so that's your goal for next year, yes. Ms. Martha Clopin. And Dr. Shintani, he invited me to his graduation luncheon just a week or so ago. Oh, he did. Absolutely. And he's invited me to some of his classes. And I've actually committed to taking his 10-day class oh. uh, in the future. So he is awesome. Yeah. And uh, I've I followed him for decades. And uh, he has the results were amazing. I was at the class where they cover the results. Oh, and yeah. the results were amazing. I saw the class when they first started. And we looked at some things and then he gave the summary and everybody had improvement yeah, everybody does and and some people went off uh, medicine for diabetes as well oh yeah mm-hmm. um what i what i like about his program is that once you take it you can always go back and do a re um re what do you call that um take the class over oh i see uh, mm-hmm. and it's free oh wonderful so i know uh <laughs> cj moon chief justice mm-hmm. ronald moon took it about 12 15 years ago and he took it in a, actually with my wife last year. Oh, okay. He redid the class because, mm-hmm. you know, we all forget about things. Sure. So it's one thing really great. So anyway, Martha, so 2016 Medicare, mm-hmm. any changes at all that we need to be worried about? Uh, well, the only, um, there, there's uh, one of the uh, HMSA, sorry, actually created a, a new plan. I see I'm on the Medicare.gov site. And I'm showing that HMSA has a plan for people who have both Medicare and full benefit Medicaid. It's called a special needs plan, special needs plan. So that is a new offering uh, for uh, Hawaii. Uh, HMSA Akamai Advantage plan now has a special needs plan. So that was new. You know what the plan is? Is it better or worse? Or what is it really doing? Well, uh, it's it's actually for people who have both Medicare and Medicaid, what it does is it it provides better coordination of the Medicare benefits with the Medicaid benefits. So if you have both Medicare and Medicaid, 
uh, most of the, I would say for most medically approved services on the Medicare and Medicaid side, you have zero out of pocket. But if you do not have your Medicaid benefits being, you know, coordinated with your Medicare, it can cause some challenges. Wow. So, so is it one plan now? Right. The special needs okay. plan is, is, is designed uh, with a, a model of care and assessments uh, built into the program so they can coordinate what you need from the two governmental programs. So uh, it's wonderful that uh, they have that special needs plan. And that's new uh, for January 2016. And is anybody else doing this? Uh, you know, they, yes, they, they uh, know Aloha of? Care has a special needs plan. Uh, United mm-hmm. Health has a special needs plan, and uh, Ohana Health also has a special needs oh, wow. plan. Cool. So uh, uh, Akamai Advantage is the new entrant into that that business. But it's great for folks who have both the Medicare and our full benefit Medicaid because again, that coordination is very very important. Because one of the things, real quick, Percy, as you know, Medicare does not cover you when you need what's called custodial care, okay. long term care. Long-term care right. So when you have full benefit Medicaid, uh, because you you know your income falls below the federal poverty uh, level, so the state actually will pick up your long term care right. services. <clears throat> but if you do not have the Medicare coordinated with the Medicaid, uh, if and when the time should come that you need long-term care services, your Medicare provider, you might be going to the Medicare provider, you know, saying, hey, you got to cover, you know, this for my my parent or, or loved one. And it's really from the state that you have to go and, and get certain things done. So now oh, you I have see. the coordination of the Medicare benefits and the Medicaid benefits. So something that Medicare doesn't cover, now you have people who are trained to understand how to coordinate uh, what you have with the state uh, Department of Health. So you call what I, what I think I heard the term dual eligibles? Yes. But when you say dual eligibles, we all know Medicare. When you say Medicaid, you talk about the MedQuest program? Uh, that's correct. That's under that's the under MedQuest program, right. right. But what they call it now is Quest Integration. Okay, yeah, that's right. Quest Integration. So that is the melding of all the MedQuest programs pretty much into one. And, uh, and long-term service and supports is a big part of that. So when you have both Medicare and Medicaid, MedQuest, Full benefit, though, because there's different levels. So you've got to have full benefit, full qualification for all Medicaid benefits. That's when that coordination is very, very vital. So it's exciting that uh, HMSA has entered into the arena with their Akamai Advantage uh, special needs plan. And it's a PPO, a preferred provider organization. So uh, it's uh, it allows you uh, to um, to choose from the doctors that, you know, take Medicare that you may always uh, also uh, uh, already be using and Medicaid. <laughs> wow, that's so complicated. That went, that went right over my head. <laughs> well, that's why you got to come to my I know, class. I know. I got your phone on speed now. Don't worry. And yeah, guys, if, if you need a question answered, I mean, trust me, I'm 55. I'm in the financial world. This stuff flew right over my head. So, um, Martha, we're going to give you a number later on. We'll give you a number right now, real quick. Before right. I my number is 800 6915. That's it. Just 800 6915. I was issued an 800 number. Really? I, yeah. But that's I, not, actually, actually, technically, that's an 808. That's 800. correct. It's 808-800-6915. But people keep asking me, how did you get an 800 number? They really? just assigned it to me. Wow. So you got rid of your old number or you still have it? Well, uh, <laughs> my number, when I find my phone. My phone that I lost. Are a you month kidding ago. me? You lost your phone. I lo- and it's 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 worse than that, Percy. I lost it in my home. So when you do your find my iPhone, it tells me it's in my house somewhere. Wow. So I've been cleaning. The house is is spotless, but I still haven't found it yet. I, I can't laugh too much. I dropped my. You know, I tell you, I I, I swim in in physical therapist Julie Moon's pool. Right, two, three times right. A week. I dropped my phone in a pool. <gasps> About, no. about uh, a year ago. Oh, no. How, how crazy. And, is it and, still and in the rice drying out? <laughs> oh, well, that doesn't work. I mean, it, oh. that's the way it works if you have little raindrops on oh, it. Oh, okay. But this thing went in the water. It, it was like, like about 10 minutes. And so, okay. so I got a new phone. But, All um, right. <laughs> boy, what a, what a, not a good, not a good time. But anyway, so anything going on with the neighbor islands with Medicare? Uh, <laughs> yes. Actually, one of the plans has what's called a service area reduction Service area reduction, it will affect 2,418 Medicare beneficiaries. And what that means is they received letters uh, around the 1st of October that the plan that they currently have will not be offered in 2016. And is that all Kauai, Maui, and the Big Island? 
Uh, it was, as, as far as I know, uh, it, yes, it affected all of the neighbor islands. Yeah. Specifically, not Oahu? Uh, not Oahu, correct. Really? Nope, it was just the neighbor Those islands. Those guys get it all the time. Last yeah. year, yeah. 30,000 or something like uh, that, 20,000 got their 40,000, <laughs> yeah. Plus. Somewhere in that number, wow. yes. Mm-hmm. So this is 2,418. So they're not going to have, have to reapply? Uh, yes, those folks are receiving a letter that lets them know that because their plan is ending December 31st of 2015, they will need to make a decision uh, to choose a new plan. Otherwise, on January 1st, they will have original Medicare only, Part A and Part B. They would also need to choose a standalone drug plan or they'll revert to original Medicare and not even have drug coverage. So. There's some very important letters going out to those folks, and wow. it affects over 2,400 people. Wow. Mm-hmm. That's amazing. Guys, I mean, uh, if you're applying for Medicare, if you're class of 69 or you have Medicare and you didn't take drugs last year, now you're on medications this year, you need to really check that out. Mm-hmm. I know uh, AM690 here is, is statewide, and I know there's pockets in the Big Island and a couple other pockets on the other neighbor islands, but if you're listening, you really need to look out. Ask your provider. Otherwise, call Martha, and she can answer some questions. She's very busy. I know your voicemail is pretty full a lot of times, but <laughs> give her a call. She will call you back. If not, tell me, Percy, Martha didn't call me back. <laughs> Please do let yeah. Percy know, and he'll find a way to reach yeah, me. Yeah, <laughs> but, yeah, I always do. But um, So anything else on Oahu that we need to worry about? Uh, no, just uh, remember that this is the time of year that you get to uh, look at what the plans are offering for for 2016 even your own and decide if you want to stay with what you have or make a decision to choose a new plan so this is a very very important time and for those who are new to uh, medicare they also need to understand the difference between the medicare open enrollment period and their own individual uh, open enrollment period i've been doing workshops for the class of 1969 for kaima key Kai McKee, class of 69. I'm soon, I will be doing McKinley, Roosevelt, and Kalani. Wow. So I'm doing the class of 69 uh, Medicare workshops. And they look so young. They do not look 65 or even close to it, but they are. But it's amazing, Percy. I would say, I would say more than 70% have no idea how Medicare works. And, and most of them are still working, but wow. they are thinking of, you know, they'll be losing their employer coverage and retiring, and they have no idea what they need to do. So the first session was completely full, and we had to actually uh, do a second session, which is coming up next week, uh, for the overflow. So wow. this is a very important topic. So no matter what school you attended, class of 69, you're either 65 or turning 65 next year, and we definitely want to talk to you and get you the information that you need so you understand eligibility and enrollment. Right, that's so important. So, Martha, give us your your, your email and your contact information. If you want to, today is the, week, the first weekend in, or second week in October, if you want Martha to do a workshop for you or come and do a presentation to your class or your church group or just give you, meet with her in person, Martha, how do they people contact you? Well, they can contact me by calling uh, my, my personal cell. Uh, it's 800 6915 808-800-6915. And I really would appreciate it if uh, folks want to email me and they can use uh, a get to aloha at gmail.com. That's G E T, the number two, the word aloha, A L O H A, at gmail.com. And that's the email I've been using for all of my Medicare business. No, I don't, I don't want people to know I have an AOL. So that's the reason I use get to aloha at gmail now. <laughs> Because I don't want anybody to know I have an AOL email that wow, I've been AOL, holding on to one. since the 90s. Wow. So you can reach me at get the number two aloha, A L O H A, at gmail.com. Wow. That, it, guys, it's so important to understand Medicare and the changes and how to actually apply. And that's one of the growing areas that the people that are boomers that are coming in and aging into Medicare. They really need to know what's going on. So. Anyway, thank you so much, Martha. And your radio show is Saturdays and Sundays. That's correct, at 2 p.m. on AM 690. Uh, and, uh, yep, yeah, I talk about Medicare. It's called the Medicare Moment with Martha. But, Percy, I do have a quick story to share. Um, I was at your Aging in Place conference, and I did a workshop, as you know. And, I, of course, I gave out my contact information and my, my, my office address. And I got a letter 
last week and it said, hello, my Medicare peeps. It says, I'm 65 in January and I'm ready to go. I heard you at the Aging in Place conference. I loved your presentation and send me whatever I need to get started. And I wanted to thank you so much, Percy, for, you know, doing that Aging in Place conference every year. It really is making a difference in people's lives. And here's this gentleman, you know, he's like ready to go. <laughs> well, that's great. great. That's great. Lastly, I do want to forget before we close up here on October 24th. Yes. Dave's going to have an open forum oh. about long-term care insurance. Oh, really? Oh, and actually, same day as the pageant. <laughs> it actually is from 8 to 1 o'clock oh, okay. at, at the University of Hawaii the oh, Art Museum, McCarthy Mall. If you need more information, uh, you can give me a call or call 429-8337. It's October 24th. It's an open forum about the state's mm. hopeful plan of doing some kind of a required long-term care insurance. Required. Plan. Interesting. Yes. So I'll Very leave you with that. Interesting. If you okay. want to call me, 234-3117 or email me, percy at generations808.com. Martha, thank you so much. Guys, if you want Medicare information, Listen to Martha, AM 690, Saturdays and Sundays from 2 to 3, or 2 to 2.30. Right. Anyway, thank you so much, guys. Aloha and live well. Aloha.